Ever feel like you're spending too much time on simple tasks in Unity? Did you know Unity has a tons of hidden features that can make your workflow faster and easier? Let me show you some of my favorites. Ever lose an object in the scene and spend ages trying to find it? Don't worry, there are two techniques that make this super easy. First option is to select the object you wish to focus onto inside the hierarchy and simply double click it. Second option has the same principle of selecting the object within hierarchy. Instead of double clicking, you will click the F key on your keyboard. Unity will instantly zoom in onto the selected object. No more hunting for objects in large scenes. Have you ever struggled to keep up with a moving object in the scene view? Unity has a simple trick to help you follow objects effortlessly. Let me show you how. Select the object you want to follow in the hierarchy or scene view. Now. Hold down the shift and press F on your keyboard. The camera will track and follow the object in real time, making it easier to monitor its motion. This is especially useful for debugging moving objects like enemies, vehicles or dynamic effects. Give it a try and see how it simplifies your workflow. Precise placement of objects is key for clean design. That's where grid and vertex snapping comes into play. To move objects by incremental snap, select the object you want to move Hold Ctrl and drag your object within the scene view. The amount of snap movement is defined within the snap increment toolbar inside a scene view. If you want to align a specific point of your model, edge of this cube for example, you can press and hold V on your keyboard to access the vertex selection mode. Additionally, you can combine both. Hold Ctrl and V together for grid aligned vertex snapping. Snapping tools ensure accuracy and save time. Experiment to make your scenes look sharp and aligned. If you're still renaming your things by right-clicking selected objects and clicking the rename option, this tip is for you. Select any object or asset in hierarchy or project view. Press F2 to highlight its name for editing. Type the new name and press enter to confirm. By using F2 and arrows navigation, we utilize our keyboard and avoid additional mouse clicks. A messy hierarchy makes development harder. Let's organize it with empty game objects as folders. Right click in the hierarchy and select create empty to make a placeholder game object. Name it something meaningful like environment, UI or whatever functionality suits you the most. Drag related game objects under the newly created object to group them. Clean hierarchies save time and prevent headaches especially if you're working with multiple colleagues on the same project. Searching for objects in a busy hierarchy can be daunting. Luckily, there is a shortcut to find anything instantly. You can either navigate to the search bar of hierarchy view or simply press Ctrl K to open the hierarchy search bar. Type the name of the object you're looking for. Unity will filter results in real time, including both hierarchy and project assets. You can click onto the assets to focus them. Close the search window by pressing the escape key on your keyboard. Quick searches keep you efficient even in complex scenes and big projects. Sometimes you need to look at multiple objects or components in Unity and having just one inspector panel can slow you down. Here's how to work smarter. To add another inspector window, click the three dots in any window top right corner and select add tab inspector. Additionally, you can right click onto any tab of open window to get the same selection. Arrange your new inspector anywhere in the editor for simultaneous views. In addition to this tip, there is a trick on how to lock an inspector to keep it visible at all times. Select any object in the hierarchy or scene view to focus its data structure into view. Click the small padlock icon in the top right corner of the inspector to lock it. Now you can freely navigate without losing the selected object details. Use lock inspector to keep control over your workflows especially when comparing multiple objects. Now that you know how to manually add multiple inspectors and lock them, there's a feature called property that does the same trick but with less clicks. Right click onto an object or asset and click properties or use the keyboard shortcut left alt and P. Unity will show a new window that is always focused on top of the editor. You can now select different objects and assets without losing focus to other objects. Property view functions like a locked inspector except it's always focused on top of the editor window. Did you know Unity has a debug view? Specialized mode that provides additional insights into properties of components on game objects, materials and other assets. 
Within the inspector window, click the three dot menu in the top right corner. Switch from normal to debug. Debug view functions only in editor and allows you to see non-serialized variables for easier debugging and optimization. If you debug a material, it will display shader properties, keywords, and additional fields that may not be visible by default. Have you ever had a layout that felt comfortable for certain tasks such as animation or scene setup? Unity allows you to save preferred layouts. Arrange Unity's panels however you like. Save your layout by clicking on a drop-down in the top right corner. Switch layouts anytime from the same menu. Custom layouts make Unity feel personal and productive. Design one that suits your style. Starting and stopping play mode is something you'll do constantly. Let's speed it up with a shortcut. Press Ctrl P to enter play mode instantaneously. A small shortcut like Ctrl P can make a big difference in your workflow if you're constantly testing your game. Press the same shortcut to stop the play mode. Have you ever made changes in play mode only to lose them when you exit because you forgot play mode was active? A simple visual cue can save you from that frustration. Go to Preferences, under the Color section, find Play Mode Tint. Choose a noticeable color of your liking. Now enter Play Mode to see the editor tinted with your chosen color. Does it annoy you that every time you enter Play Mode, Game View is being forced into focus even if you have Scene View opened? Right click onto the Play button to preview a hidden option that allows you the activation of game view focus when entering the play mode. It was that simple, yet hidden in plain sight. Ever need to reuse a component with the same settings? In the inspector, right click onto any component header such as transform and select copy component. Select another object, right click on its transform component and select paste component value option. Save time by copying and pasting components instead of manually writing each value. Ever tweaked a value during play mode, then wrote that property value down so you wouldn't forget it when exiting the play mode? Instead of copying the whole component, you can copy a single property. Inside the component, right click onto the property name and choose copy. Quit the play mode and right click onto the same property value name and click paste. This trick allows you to transfer inspector values from play mode to edit mode without losing your data if you just set them up. Don't be afraid to dive into Unity's official documentation. It's an absolute treasure trove of tricks, insights and solutions that even seasoned developers often overlook. The answer to so many challenges are just quick search away and you might even discover features you didn't know existed. And that's it! These simple tips can make a huge difference in your workflow. Don't miss out on our latest video where we recreate the Death Stranding terrain scan effect. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.